a tribute to mr j paul i am happy to script a few words for the book entitled sigaram eludhiya kavithangal this book is a conversation between mr j paul and mr kalyana sundaram this simple book release function took place in tirunelveli amidst eminent members but alas in honoring our erstwhile friend mr j paul whose dream was to bring out many books at this age the author mr j paul's soul departed on may 4th due to the horrible covid-19 but still his desires dreams wishes we are trying to fulfill preface written by mr n j paul forward written by dr pennin selvakumari ma'am from puducherry munurai written by darsi s fernando and the first letter dated 3rd july 89 there are around 80 letters in this book it is noteworthy to mention that both of them worked as bankers it is highly praiseworthy to see the people preserving those precious letters conversation even after 40 years in the olden days when technology was not this much advanced people were dependent on postal department to convey any message the excitement and pleasure in receiving letter cannot be explained in words the most expected time and the most expected person will be the postman for many of the people in those days the excitement reaches the zenith when one receives the letter and unfold and read its contents there is a pleasure in reading the content again and again that too from an intimate person preserving those letters safely even numbering the letters whenever we are fed up we are disturbed or tired or exhausted or disappointed or depressed these letters give aid and consolation to our disturbed mind they are a source of inspiration and motivation it gives immense pleasure especially when we receive letter from our bosom friends they are our guide and they teach us a good lesson what is right and what is wrong what is good and what is wrong Here is one such noble gesture of Mr N J Paul and Mr Kalyana Sundaram from the content it is noted that the language used is simply amazing and convincing beyond personal talks they discuss a lot of things so freely the expression of thoughts emotions feelings have no barriers and it cannot stop the smooth relationship it is like smooth flowing brook i would like to quote a friend in need is a friend indeed they both have helped each other in times of troubles and tribulations it's a strong friendship that had lasted for decades together with mutual understanding and care their mutual support has played a vital role this friendship was really genuine true pure and holy the language of all the letters are simple splendid and awesome the communication started from postcard and led to the inland letter then it reached to envelopes most of these contents are based on bank dealing transactions sometimes regarding inquiry of personal matters too it really touches the hearts of the readers the usage of similes metaphors personification imagery add grace to these letters the flair of language makes the readers read again and again such intimate things are also shared so very well 
and it is seen easily for example we are looking beyond and beyond things intimacy is revealed in the letter dated 18th june 1991 the only thing i missed you is you their exchange of literary and non literary works which got published in various magazines are also discussed in detail flower is a smile and love some reminiscences are also brought out very clearly like monkey bite and tea and hotels all the inconveniences and irksome faced in different places are also described and discussed group photo in palavur branch poetry recital is a good experience to read and enjoy these letters are very much motivating inspiring and emotional some intimate things are also shared very casually this shows their intimate relationship these letters recharge the mental barriers discussion regarding celebration is fantastic and interesting to tell in a nutshell this sort of friendship is needed for all human to lend a shoulder in times of need may their friendship last long all of us know great leaders they preserve the letters and publish in later times like our jawaharlal nehru's letters glimpses of world history to his daughter indira priyadarshini similarly this letters are also preserved for a long time and published in the name of sigaram ezhudhiya kavithangal such a marvelous book and i do really miss jay pal sir no words to tell there may his soul rest in peace may god give consolation to the family members friends neighbors and everybody secret uh, i would like to introduce myself as brinda english teacher working in kadlur it was god's gift that we came across a heavenly person in this earth i came across a christian cassette in my aunt's house and saw the address and contacted them at that time we were in dalhousie public school himachal pradesh we met them in tirunelveli sarataka teacher training institute from then onwards we had developed friendship by exchange of letters later he became a great and intimate friend he was a guide good philosopher and a good friend his encouraging words inspired me in many occasions he has helped us because of him alone i studied mphil now he asked me to do phd and also write an autobiography he feels happy in my success he is a gem of a person his love is genuine and true his caring mind helping mentality encouraging words are always unique whenever we come to chennai we prefer to stay with sir and ma'am though so many relatives are there in chennai we are like their children i can't tell what all they have done for us words are not enough to explain this this is from brinda and the tribute is about jay palanan is from the heart of my hearts i really miss this auspicious function for the book release of our dear friend mr jay pal my eyes water and my heart shatters though i am physically absent surely mentally present all my prayers are there we hardly come across such a genuine pure and true friendship in this materialistic and commercial world when we come across thousands of people in our life it's very rare to see such genuine friendship which is long lasting and everlasting this friendship will remain as a model for all the youngsters i sincerely pray the almighty for this unique function to go on successfully and bring tremendous change in the present society may this book have a wider readership and all learn a lot from it 
around 100 letters compiled together in the name of Singaram Eludhiya Kavidaigal. Sorry. Singaram Eludhiya Kavidaigal. The name itself is simply amazing. It is the communication between two noble souls. Our dear Jaipal sir, though he is not here, he is surely watching everything from the heaven above. God likes prettiest and noble souls. So he has taken him to be with him in his kingdom. He has got a promotion to be with the Lord. May his soul rest in peace. This is from Brinda. May God bless this soul and bless the friendship that he has developed with so many people. Thank you. நம்முடையாள நட்சத்திரம் போல வானில் மறைகின்றான் என் சிநேகிதனை என் பிரியனை நட்பின் இலக்கணமே யோனத்தானே உண்மையானவன் என் மீது நீ கொண்ட பேரன்பு ஆச்சரியமே சூரியன் மறைவது எழுவதற்காகத்தானே ஐயா கொடியரசு அவர்கள் பேச ஆரம்பிக்கையில் இந்த நிகழ்விலே நல்ல வெயில் அடித்துக் கொண்டிருந்தது அவர் பேச 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 அநேகமாக வெயில் தணிந்து காற்று வீச தொடங்கிவிட்டது நாம் இந்த கடைசி வரியை நாம் மறுபடியும் நினைத்துக் கொண்டோம் என்றால் சூரியன் மறைகின்ற நேரத்திலே மறுபடியும் உச்சரிப்போம் என்றால் சூரியன் மறைவது எழுவதற்கு தானே ஜெயப்பால் மறைவது ஜெயப்பால் எழுவதற்கு தானே என்று கூட நான் இந்த கடைசி வரியை நான் அர்த்தம் சொல்லிக் கொள்கின்றேன் கொடியரசு அவர்கள் என்னை பற்றி சொல்லும் போது கல்யாண சுந்தரம் ஏற்புரை வழங்குவார் என்று சொன்னார் இதில் ஏற்புரைக்க எதுவுமே எனக்கு இல்லை இது என்னுடைய புத்தகம் அல்ல இது புத்தகமே அல்ல இது நானும் ஜெயப்பாலும் உள்ளார்ந்து பேசிக்கொண்டே அல்லது எழுதி கொண்டே அல்லது பரிமாறிக்கொண்ட எங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கையினுடைய ஒரு சாசனம் ஆகையால் நான் ஏற்புரை எல்லாம் நிகழ்த்தப்படுவதில்லை ஆனால் ஏற்பு என்ற சொல்லை மாத்திரம் நான் எடுத்துக் கொள்ளலாம் என்று நான் நினைக்கின்றேன் ஜெயப்பால் என்னை ஏற்றுக்கொண்டார் என்னுடைய குடும்பத்தை ஏற்றுக்கொண்டார் ஜெயப்பாலுடைய துணைவியார் கௌரி ஜெயப்பால் என்னை ஏற்றுக்கொண்டார்கள் என்னுடைய துணை துணைவியாரை ஏற்றுக்கொண்டார்கள் ஜெயப்பால் மாமா என்றும் குளோரி அத்தை என்றும் எங்கள் பிள்ளைகள் அழைக்கிற விதத்திலே எங்களுடைய பிள்ளைகளை ஏற்றுக்கொண்டார்கள் அந்த விதத்திலே தான் என்னுடைய புத்தகத்திற்காக அல்ல எங்களை ஏற்றுக்கொண்ட டியர் சார் ஹவ் ஐ யூ வேர் ஆர் யூ Why did you leave us so soon without a word to anyone? You encouraged, motivated and inspired. As a source of inspiration, you served. Henceforth, who will encourage me? Who will help in need? How will we lead? You took at most care of all, shared joys and sorrows, took part in victory without any jealousy no hatred no ego prevailed our friendship was pure and genuine unable to digest your loss life is horrible without you we miss you a lot when will we see you again 
waiting for that moment to see. Ready to lose anything, sir. May you read this soon. Destiny to peace. Meet you soon.